Okay, we got the Union Railroad Company, Book of Rules and Instructions, Governing All Employees. So, I had to consult the employee handbook here because I have a hazmat train to move. So I wanted to know what the Union Railroad rule would be for moving hazmat. And we'll talk about that in this video. So we're going to move over to Clareton, PA where the U.S. Steel has a coke plant. Coke is coal that's heated up and it's basically changed its chemical composition into a, a lighter, lightweight rock. That's a raw material that's used in the production of steel. And we'll move over here to the chemical facility. So one of the byproducts of the manufacture and heating of coke is various chemicals. So that's what we have here at our Clareton PA chemical loading facility. Uh, there's a variety of chemicals that are used to make other products. So they're loaded here at my scratch built facility and moved out by the Union Railroad. And in modern times, uh, some of it's trucked out. So We'll talk about that a little bit. You're going to see the Union Railroad crane because on a small end scale layout, the coal wharf at Duquesne PA is also included in this video because I have a really small layout. So back to what we're, our topic is all about is the Clareton PA coke plant and moving hazardous materials that are byproducts of the manufacture of coke on the Union Railroad. So when I looked into my rules handbook it basically said that there had to be five cars between the hazardous material and an engine and or a caboose. However, if the length of the train would not allow that to happen, had to at least be two car lengths between the hazardous material and the, the engine or caboose. So that's what we have here. We've got the Union Railroad MP15 by the brand new uh, Atlas gondolas. They just arrived today. I did a little spraying and weathering on them. There's your hazmat. Two more cars at the end proper spacing on a short train, Union Railroad, Clareton PA, modeled all the way down in Plano, Texas. Everybody have a good rest of the week.